Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey and this week we are in the first letter that Paul wrote to the Corinthians. Very important letter with so many troubles. They had so many troubles there in that church and Paul here through, throughout this whole letter uh, tries uh, to, to fix those problems and, 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 and counseling them and helping them. Uh, to take the steps necessary to understand things and to do things in the right way. So it's a, it's a great letter. So I'd like to encourage you to read uh, the whole letter. And before I share the verse for today with you, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people. Help us to bless other people. Verse for today, chapter 2, verse 14. 2, verse 14. Look what Paul wrote. The man without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. The man without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God. What Paul is saying here is that there, there is, a, there is a, a limitation of understanding of spiritual things. And sometimes we think that, well, everybody can understand this. Everybody can get it. And Paul here is saying, no, there are things that only people who have the Spirit of God will be able to understand and to respond. There is some truth that only people who have the Spirit of God will be able to understand. Not everybody will understand it. Not everybody will get it. And sometimes I, I, I struggle with this because sometimes I, I try to preach in a way that I use visual stuff, sometimes um, humor. I try whatever I can. To communicate because I know that there is a, a, a language barrier sometimes between me and, and the people that are speaking to my church and other people so I try to do things that uh, will help and I say well now I think that they can get it <laughs> and some people still don't get it it doesn't matter you can be the best accent and the best of preaching and the best teacher it doesn't matter it's a spiritual thing that is going on the spirit of god communicating to the person to the spirit of the person the message so the, the it's a spiritual thing that is going on and you need to understand that so you, next time that you are studying the Word, you need to, to... This is why it's important to pray, to get in tune with God and His Spirit, so you know that God's going to talk to you. And, and He says, look, it's, it cannot, they cannot understand. He cannot understand. Because it is divided spiritually. It, it's something else. It's not just kind of a knowledge that is in your mind, that is, is kind of mathematics, that is, you know the numbers and you get it. No, it's not. It's a spiritual thing. There is a spiritual communication and, and if the person does not have the Spirit of God, the person will not get it. Will not get it. So it's, uh, it's a very important for us to understand that that we need to learn not only here but here the spirit the man without the spirit does not accept the things that comes from the spirit of god they can they cannot if they don't have the spirit of god in them they will not be able to understand and to accept what the Spirit of God is talking. This is why sometimes people read the scripture, read, 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 and they don't get it. Because there is no communication there. It needs to be a spiritual communication right there 
write them. And it's very important for us to understand that. To understand that. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.